gelatin paper. Uh, for the gelatin paper, we're going to be using clear powder gelatin uh, and water. The proportion that we're using is two, uh, so three. It's, uh, two tablespoons of uh, gelatin to three tablespoons of um, water. The thing is with this recipe, it's really about ratio. It's about uh, the proportion that you use. If you're going to make a lot of paper, you can use like two cups of gelatin to three cups of water. But in this case, this actually gives you a lot of uh, material to work with. So we're going to start with this tablespoon, two and three. Now we're going to need another recipient, of course, to mix those two together. We're going to use a brush. Uh, this brush I recommend it to be a soft hair brush because when you're going to like you're going to brush on a surface that preparation of gelatin, and when you brush it, you don't want to leave any marks on the paper. So I recommend a soft hair brush. And I like to work with uh, with straight brushes, but that's up to you guys. I think this way I can manage to get more more into the surface, but uh, it's it's up to you. Let me just focus here. It's up to you, okay? And we're going to use a plastic folder, a plastic folder in order to brush the preparation of the gelatin and let it dry to make our paper. I use uh, these kinds of folders because they're very smooth and it's easier uh, It's easier at the end when the paper is, is, um, is set and it has hardened. It's easier to peel off, but you can also use another like good quality paper, uh, not paper, plastic bag or acetate, whatever surface that is uh, smooth enough in order to then peel off the, the okay, so I have here my recipient where I'm going to pour the three tablespoons of water now in order to mix this I'm going to hydrate the gelatin first that means that I'm going to pour this gelatin like this little by little okay uh, some sort of um, I'm just sprinkling sprinkling the gelatin in the water so it won't harden too much and it won't uh, make any like big lumps of gelatin now I can mix it a little bit as you can see the gelatin is hydrating that means that the green of gelatin is absorbing the water and it's becoming bigger okay this will help my gelatin to bloom that means it will help my gelatin to be more clear and to have a good consistency so i recommend this for all the recipes that include a clear gelatin so i'm going to leave it to rest for for not too much because there's not much quantity of water so maybe okay, now minute. this and gelatin is hydrated as you can see okay and i'm going to make to heat this in the microwave for about a minute in a low temperature i rather put it in low and check that it's getting ready instead of putting in the maximum temperature and it could uh, damage or burn the gelatin okay just so finish um melting the gelatin in the micro or heating the, the gelatin in the microwave it is completely dissolved as you can see the gelatin has this like foam on top of it when you see this foam it means that your gelatin is ready but however i'm going to leave it to rest just for a little bit because all this foam is going to come up to the surface and then i'm going to remove it before i color okay the so with a smaller spoon i'm just going to remove this top part of the gelatin just to take all this white foam out of it
one of them with a uh, liquid uh, food coloring. This is good for aerography, but, and it's also, it's not too liquid, it's not too runny, because the ones that you find in the supermarket can be a little bit over runny, um, too liquid, so it could change the texture of the gelatin. So just a drop and look how good it looks, look how much it colors the uh, preparation for the gelatin paper. Okay, so this one is going to be blue because I'm going to be making a butterfly with one of the papers. The, for the other one, I'm going to be using gel uh, coloring food or food coloring, sorry, just a quick drop as well. Okay, and now I'm going to add some holographic uh, hologram silver sprinkles in it sprinkles not is dust because that way I'm going to have a very very shiny paper oh I'm sorry let me take this out of here okay look at this pretty excellent I'm going to get rid of these bubbles so it won't mark my paper okay very good now i'm going to uh, proceed to brush this into the plastic folder so i have my plastic folder here um, i'm going to be um, brushing this into uh, the folder make sure that your preparation is really liquid because that way it will go, it will run better and you will, it will be easier to cover the plastic bag or the plastic folder. Okay. If it starts to get like this to open up a little bit, I'm just going to keep brushing it until I have a smooth surface like this one here maybe it needs a little more quantity maybe it's a little bit too hot but i rather put um brush it while it's hot and have a better looking paper that i can go back and forth here i'm gonna do half of the of the plastic bag Okay, and I'm going to make it as even as possible, so I will have a lot of... one I'm going to do it in this side of the plastic bag or the plastic folder and well you can see the sparkling in it because of the holographic silver dust it looks really pretty with this we will be making a ribbon or like a cake to decorate either a cake or a cupcake it's really cute it's gonna be really nice so I'm going to keep brushing it until I have an even surface 